With Bronx Week taking off, the Yankees return to the borough Tuesday for an exciting homestand. Highlighted by a series of community events and a weekend that brings their longtime rivals, the Boston Red Sox, to Yankee Stadium. The Bronx Bombers kick-started the week with a nice 3-1 win over Kansas City. The all-of-a-sudden red-hot Derek Jeter collected two more hits as the Yankee offense and later the bullpen back starter Freddie Garcia, who collected his second win of the season. Tried to pitch my game, you know. I was really hard the, you know, the fastball in my command, but, you know, I was, I was throwing, you know, my breaking pitch. He has a lot of confidence in his stuff, and uh, he's going to go after guys and, you know, he throws hard and he's got that big curveball, so um, he made some big pitches when we needed him to. Tuesday night was also a win-win for the Kips Bay Boys and Girls Club, who celebrated with their fifth annual night at the ballpark. The event raises money for their programming and gives them an opportunity to partner with the Yankees and making the Bronx a better place for youth. We're fortunate enough to have a created a relationship with the New York Yankees that's very positive. They've been very supportive in providing uh, not only space, but player appearances and helping us really partner with them and and try, trying to see what's most important for our community, and that is, of course, serving our children. Former borough president Adolfo Carrion, who is now part of President Obama's White House Office of Urban Affairs, was also on hand to celebrate Kips Bay. Anything that we can do to give uh, kids an opportunity for a better life, recreation, education, uh, to expand their, their the possibilities for the future, uh, we ought to be doing. And, you know, the folks coming together tonight, the Yankee organization acknowledging the work of Kips Bay Boys and Girls Club, terrific. Wednesday night, the Yankees welcomed coaches versus cancer during a pregame home plate ceremony. The Bombers invited 10 college coaches, including St. John's Steve Lavin, who is battling prostate cancer, to attend. The Yanks then battled on the field, taking KC into the 11th inning before falling 4-3. to three. You want to get the job done every time out. You, you want to go out there and score runs every inning. And when you, you know, let those opportunities pass by, you don't know how many more you're going to get. While the Yanks may have wasted a nice start by A.J. Burnett and Curtis Granderson's MLB leading 12th home run Wednesday night, the Bronx's own Mike Avilas didn't waste any time offering high praise for his hometown. It's always great, you know, get a chance to uh, come back to the place where, you know, I grew up playing out in all the parks around here. Um, anytime you get to come here, you get family in town, plus you're also, you know, just the atmosphere, just being around. You know, everybody always says it's, it's kind of tough to play here with all the fans and stuff, but to me it kind of feels home because I grew up around these people. I know, you know, I'm, I'm just like one of them, you know, and that's, that's, that's the good thing about it. The Yanks are hoping to make the rest of Bronx week as memorable as its start.